Hi, everybody, and welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center TV show. Today, I'm Sam Bailey here with Benjamin Perlberg and Carter Hillier. And today, we're going to be talking about the AFC North and who's going to win it. Carter, what are your opinions on that? I think that this is going to be an interesting um, battle. I think it's going to be an absolute dogfight. I think that each, honestly, in my opinion, each team has a case for why they could be a playoff team. I mean, Cincinnati is really starting to build, you know, parts around Joe Burrow so that their offense can be completely elite with people like Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins. I mean, the Steelers picked up Najee Harris, who I think is a great draft pick. He's going to be great there. He plays just like Le'Veon Bell, and I hope he makes a great fit there. The Baltimore Ravens, I mean, Lamar Jackson, he can't throw, but he can really run. I think he is also a very, I think he is a good leader, although I think that he does need to work on the throwing, and I think that the Cleveland Browns are just going to be great this season. I think they really have found their place in this division. So who do you think will win it? Honestly, I don't really have a pick. I would, I would like to say the Steelers, but I'm not going to. But if I, I, if I genuinely had to pick, I'd probably say Cleveland. But this is going to be an interesting matchup between these four teams, and I think it's going to be an absolute dogfight. All right. Ben, what are your opinions? I'm sorry. Lamar Jackson can't throw? He cannot throw. Ben, ben Roethlisberger threw better than him. That doesn't but mean he can't throw. Lamar Jackson won an MVP as a quarterback, which means that he as must be back. pretty good at Basically throwing. a running back. Mm. Running all right. Back. All right. Who do you think will win that? I think the Cleveland Browns will win the division, mostly because I also think that they have a good shot at the Super Bowl because Odell Beckham Jr. needs to boom this year, and I think that he will do that because he's finally should be fully recovered from injuries. And Baker Mayfield's always improving, along with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt in the backfield. This team should be a deadly offensive force. All right, both of you guys had very good takes. Um, me personally, I also have to go with the Cleveland Browns. Wait, give me a sec. The breaking news: This just in: Jamar Chase drives a golf cart into a ditch, into a ditch, and Bengals head coach Zach Taylor suspends him one game and will limit his playing time. Holy, that is breaking. I think this means that the Steelers have a chance to win a Super Bowl now. I think this completely changed my opinions. And, um, yeah, I think that Ben Roethlisberger now seeing this is going to be the next Patrick Holmes. Wait, wait, wait. I'm right. sorry. He's being suspended. Was he intoxicated or did he just drive a golf cart into I a ditch? I think he just drove the golf cart into a ditch. Wow, I wish we could get more details. That'd it also says that they hit a deer. Oh, they, they, hit a, they hit a deer? Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Is the deer okay? Well we offer our condolences to the deer's family. However, this doesn't help that this doesn't help the Bengals given that he was their ver he was their first round draft pick and they still no have no offensive line, so Joe Burrow is even more screwed than he was in the first place. All right. At this point the Bengals should just pack it up and leave the NFL. Poverty franchise and they should just disband. And on that note, I'm Sam Bailey here with Benjamin Perlberg and Carter Hillier and we're signing off. Steelers are winning the Super Bowl now. <laughs>